Sack Life Beat Depression and Stay 803, and we're back in the place to be with another somatic healing session to wipe out depression. Thank you so much, everybody, for being here now. Anyone who's tuning in later, appreciate you guys and girls out there. As you know, it's a martial arts for mental health show. I would like to tune into those mental health tools first. So first and foremost, I'm going to start with a very powerful one, that tool of gratitude. The more we use it, the more effective it can become at helping us maintain a positive state of mind or focus on those positive things, even though we acknowledge the negative things or the bad things that happen. Because life is going to continue to present us with challenges. That's just the way it goes. We got to train to meet those challenges and overcome them so we can keep a good positive state of mind and have that good life experience. So by using that gratitude tool, let me focus on a couple of things I am grateful for today. First and foremost, everybody who's in here now, anybody who's tuning in uh, to support the cause, appreciate you. You are always part of my gratitude section. Shout out to the first ones in, Jen and Luca. Thank you so much. Luca St. Clair just got home with his mom. Uh, it's good to hear. Good to hear Claire's doing well out there. Super Claire, inspiring others, and it's good to see you, buddy. Thank you for being here. You're part of my gratitude section. The Lisa the Luminary for being a rock for over 500 days, 503 days today. Thank you for being here as well. You're also part of my gratitude section. And I want to shout out gratitude to Derns and Alex out at Diamond Cuts Barbershop in Harrison, New Jersey. If you're in the Harrison, New Jersey area, uh, they do an excellent job out there. It's always a great experience, friendly atmosphere. And I've never had a bad haircut. Yeah, I'm really appreciating this one. They're helping me feel more human you know, as I take care of myself. A little bit of self-care, a little bit of maintenance can go a long way in my own. Uh, so when I look in the mirror, I feel good about, you know, what I'm seeing. So <laughs> do what works for you. Find what helps you maintain a positive state of mind and feel as human as possible. And I want to shout out gratitude to Derns and Alex out there. Not only for the cut, but also for supporting our cause with stickers and they put notes up above their barber seats on the mirrors asking people to, prompting people to ask about Sackley. So they're helping us raise awareness. They're helping empower others with free tools that could potentially help them through very difficult times. So I want to shout out a tremendous amount of gratitude to Derns and Alex out there at Diamond Cuts. And that is not all. A little bit more gratitude before we get into it. Uh, shout out to When Roses Blossom for being here. Thank you. And to Slayer Ken, thanks for being here. Appreciate you sharing his days at 411 days. Crushing it, brother. We'll get into that in one section, in one second. But a little bit more gratitude before we move forward. Also want to shout out gratitude to my uh, original trainers, to Master Checo, and also to Brian Manzali. You may know him as B the Human or Master BPM. We're going to be linking up after the show today at a local Muay Thai gym where uh, Brian is going to be training. So if you're looking to take your Muay Thai skills to the next level and you're in the New Jersey area, uh, Bloomfield, Belleville, Harrison, North Arlington, that type of area, I'm going to give you a place that you can go for some good quality training and uh, we'll let you check it out. So stay tuned for that. But I want to shout out gratitude to Brian uh, for opening up the space and allowing me to come out and train and get some take my skills to the next level as well, get some more exposure out there. So, whole bunch of gratitude, right? Uh, still, a little more to everybody tuned in now. Uh, to Danny V, thank you for being here. To Missy Fitzwater, thank you for being here. And to anybody else who is tuning in now or later. Uh, Luca said, checking out comments, can you hi ya that punching bag? Claire wants to see you do it. It makes her laugh. The mini bag, again, Claire? <laughs> I get it. just for you, Claire. Just for you. That's it. Good enough. <laughs> That's just for Claire. Thank you, Claire, for the request. Happy to be here. Uh, taking a moment out, you know, to I don't know. Hopefully, make you smile. <laughs> You're making me smile in here, so it makes sense for me to return the favor. Um, and shout out to Spano two thousand two. Thank you so much for the support. So. That's the gratitude section. Huge. So many things to be grateful for. Looking forward to more gratitude tonight. Um, now let's move into that next mental health tool. Progress tracking. Keeping track of the number of days you show up for yourself and accomplish your daily goal. Whether it's this show, a training routine with Bob, quality time with Bob, quality time on the mini sack, quality time on the regular sack, quality time in a martial arts dojo or in a fitness routine. Whatever it is, if you've got something that you're accomplishing daily in the face of of anything that is trying to hold you back, such as depression or anxiety, then give yourself credit 
for crushing that goal every single day. If you make that goal something that builds you up both physically and mentally, it'll be even more powerful and even more effective tool. And as always, remember to find those tools that work for you, lump them together so you can give yourself that best fighting chance at moving forwards toward better mental health. It's been 803 days of consecutive training through sickness and health for this guy, Zach Mayer. Let me know how many days it's been for you. By sharing your progress and accomplishment, we can help inspire others to make progress and find their own accomplishment in their lives. So please do share what you're doing for you. Give yourself credit for every single step forward because every single step forward counts. And on that note, Ken shared 411 days of progress. Good stuff, Ken, once again. Thank you for being here. And Luca said, checking in on comments, Luca said, that was fast, she laughed. Good stuff. <laughs> What is on that karate guy? Is it a belt? No, those are actually my hand wraps. I washed them. They were super twisted up. I'm actually, I found a new, another use for a bob. If you've got a bob and you need to straighten out your hand wraps, you can make them nice and flat, stretch them against the body to help reform them back to that, uh, that original shape. So they wrap nice and easy. Uh, pro tip, don't tell anybody else. Or if you do, tell them what you found out. Anyways, uh, today's class, class is going to be three rounds, three minutes hit each with one minute breaks in between to catch your breath, drink some water, make sure you're staying hydrated out there. It's very important. And today we're going to talk about a little bit of an advanced technique. Um, we're going to work on a combo that incorporates a spinning elbow strike, a rear spinning elbow strike at the end of that chain. So we'll build up to it. Remember, go at your pace. Dial in that intensity, the volume, and the speed at which you're throwing those strikes to challenge yourself to where you're at today. So you want to check in on yourself, see how you're feeling. Did you party hard last night? Did you stay up late? Did you get enough sleep? Are you well fed? How are you feeling? Our main goal is to give ourselves a challenge because we can't grow in that comfort zone. So we got to get a little uncomfortable, but we don't want to push too hard to where we need to take a day off of passive recovery. Right? If we do this right and we train smart in that flow zone, we'll be able to work active recovery and continue to sharpen those skills as we give our bodies that rest that it deserves. I'm going to be dialing my intensity down a little bit as well because I am preparing for that bonus round at the Muay Thai gym right after the show. So I don't even know what's in store for me. It could be sparring. It could be drills. I'm not sure. So I don't want to overextend now. So remember, tune into you. Dial in that intensity to your level. Give yourself that challenge. That way you can reward yourself for that growth and that accomplishment. Shout out as well to IMB305. Thank you for joining. And that's going to be it. Let's talk about the lesson. We're working from Muay Thai stance. Nice and balanced. Squared hips, squared shoulders, right? Guard high by the brow line. Balanced stance. Uh, lead foot is your non-dominant hand. Rear foot is where your dominant hand is. So the one you write with, that's in the back. That's your rear foot there. From a Muay Thai stance, we're going to start by stepping in for a jab, rotating through for a cross, letting that rear foot slide forward just a little bit. And then we're going to toss a lead hook from here, right? Lead hook, boom. And after we make contact with that lead hook, instead of rotating back to square, we're going to take that lead foot and step it across into a narrow stance, which we normally don't do. So we're stepping across into a narrow stance in order to give ourselves the right position to throw this spinning reverse elbow strike. So from here, we just made contact. We're using our punch to hide that foot movement. We just clocked it on the side of the head, stepping that front foot across. Remember, keep the knees a little bent, weights on the balls of the feet, and we're gonna pivot on both feet. Boom, letting that elbow come all the way around, turning through the hips and shoulders, and rotating on both feet to deliver a nice spinning rear elbow strike, pop, right to the head. Rotate all the way back and back to square, and you're back in. So that's where we're going. That's where we're heading. We want to get that nice and fluid. We want to focus on balance so that we can execute these moves with precision, with speed, with good timing, and never lose our balance and lose our core. That's very important. That we keep that head in the center line, and when we move forwards and we move backwards, we're not leaning the torso forwards or backwards. We're keeping it straight up, nice and balanced in our tight position. So we're going to work on that combo. We'll start with the basic elements of it, the jab, the cross, the hook. We'll follow up that hook with a different ending other than this, the rotating elbow. That way you can also mix up that routine if you're in sparring to confuse your opponent. Get them used to a combo, right? And then once they're used to it and they learn how to defend it, switch that combo up. Maybe just the ending. Surprise ending, spinning rear elbow strike. So 
That's what we're aiming for. Three rounds, three minutes each. One minute breaks to catch your breath, drink some water. We'll have some fighting spirit of the 80s coming through our boombox. And let's get right into it. And do it. Bluetooth. Okay. Bang, bang, bang. Here we go. Today. All right, square up into position. Visualize that target. Remember to keep it focused on mental health. We want to make sure we pace ourselves, challenge ourselves to our skill level, and assign that dummy, that visualized dummy, the thing, the name of the thing we're working on. So if it's depression, make it your depression dummy. If it's anxiety, make it your anxiety dummy. And we're gonna knock the lies right out of that dummy's stupid face. To get right now, starting now. Three, two, one. Pop into your stance. Square up those hips and shoulders. Start shifting that body weight from the front foot to the back foot, right? Rolling those hands to keep the pace, keep it nice and tight. Curl those hips, curl the shoulders, tuck the chin. Step in for the one, and back. Step in for the one, and back. One, and back. One, and back. Now notice, I'm turning through, I'm turning that fist over, and I'm sending it straight down that center line, landing on the large two knuckles, and then rotating back. Looks like this from the side. One, two, three, four, five, six. Back to stance. Find your pace, find your flow, find that rhythm, and let's keep it moving. Step for the jab, and rotate into the cross. Bang, right down that center line. Keep it nice and tight. Chin tuck, head balance. Down, stand, step in for the one, two, bump, bump, and back. Step in for that one, rotate on the rear foot for the two, let that hip turn, let that heel turn, and then back to stance. Visualize that dummy. Exhale as you crack them in the face, knocking those lies out of that depression dummy's face. Every day that we show up for ourselves, we get a little bit stronger, and we make that depression dummy a little bit weaker. As we take that power back, let's go. Step in for the one, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. Right down that center line, chin tuck. And back to stance. Now we're gonna start adding in that hook. We're building it up. Keep that pace going, keep mo moving, never stop that momentum. Breathing in the nose and out the mouth with each strike, let's go. One, two. One, two, let's add in the lead hook. Step for the one, rotate for the two. At the point of contact, we're gonna throw this lead hook to follow up. So we're gonna rotate those shoulders and turn through as we raise that arm up, 90 degree elbow, pop them with the hook, and then back to square and stand, square it up. Step in for the one, two, one, two. Rotating on the rear foot. We're gonna rotate on the lead foot for the hook. Bump, right there. Again, not leaning. Torso's upright, chin's tucked. We're nice and balanced. And then square back up, back into your stance. Step forward for the one. Rotate for the two. Rotate for the three. And then back to stance. One, two, three. Back to stance. One, two, three. Back to stance, keep it going. One, two, three. And now from here, we're gonna fire one more cross and then back to stand. So four hits total. Step for the one, rotate for two, rotate for three, rotate for four. Bang, back to stance. Step in. Bang, square it up, keep it moving. Jab, cross, hook, cross, back to stance. Jab, cross, hook, cross, let it flow. And that's the end of round one. Catch your breath, drink some water. Shout out to OMF Wall, thank you for being here. Shout out to Luca, shout out to Master Checko, I see you. <laughs> he said, fresh cut, Van Damme. <laughs> thank you. Checko, always with a sense of humor, appreciate you. All right, so we got 39 seconds before we pop into that next session. We're gonna start bringing in that reverse spinning elbow like we talked about earlier, just to mix things up. The goal, get fluid with these combos, remain balanced, and then you'll have options to mix up those combos when you are in a sparring or a, a friendly, uh, what's the right word, drills. If you're doing friendly drills with a partner, if you're doing some sparring with a partner, you can use these combos, mix them up, keep them on their toes. If you're working with Bob, he's a great technical training dummy for these technical strikes, finding that distance of each of those tools and working on them, keeping them nice and centered, balanced. Remember, go slow, because slow is smooth, and smooth is fast, and fast is powerful. That's your road to progress out there. 
Back to stand, square up. We're gonna start with that combo we just fired off. Stepping in for the jab, rotating for the cross, rotate for the hook, rotate for that final cross, back to stance. Keep it nice and square. Practice not leaning in, right? Keep that torso upright. Chin tuck, step for the jab, rotate for the cross, rotate for the hook, rotate for the cross, back to stance. Step for the jab, hop, rotate cross, rotate hook, rotate cross. Back to stand, square it up. Now we're gonna switch up the ending with the reverse spinning back fist. So let's break it down, go at our pace. Step in for the number one, the jab. Rotate for the two, the cross. Rotate for the hook. And now once we make contact with that hook, we're gonna step into a narrow stance. So we're gonna let that lead foot take a step across right here. We're covering up our foot movement with the fact that we just hit him in the face at the same time. And from here, we're keeping those knees bent, we're still balanced, heads in that center line, right? We should still be balanced here, not falling over in any direction. Knees are bent, weights on the balls of the feet. We're gonna rotate on both feet, and we're gonna rotate through the hips, and we're gonna rotate through the shoulders, and we're gonna bring this elbow up, mm, look back at our opponent, and crack him with that reverse spinning elbow. All the way back to center. Let's break it down again, go at your pace, step in for the one, Rotate for two, turn for the hook. Now we make contact with the hook, step across to a narrow stance, twist through, bomb, and then twist back, rotate back. Remember, keep the knees bent and the head in the center. Even when we step into a narrow stance, right, even when we step across, that head is still centered, chin's tucked. We're balanced and we're balanced all the way through the spin. Boom, and back, back to stance, guard high. Let's talk about the hand movement for that reverse spinning elbow. Let's bring up, bring ourselves up to speed. Step into the one, rotate for two, rotate for the hook. Step across into narrow stance. And now what we're gonna do with our hands is we're gonna bring this one back to defend the head. And this one's gonna drop into the chest. Just like we use it for forward elbows, we're gonna use it for reverse spinning elbow. So now as we rotate around with that up wrist close to the chest, it's gonna make a nice sharp elbow for us to use on our opponent. Guard staying high on the opposite hand, blocking us, uh, keeping our defense up for counter attacks. And again, this is going to be a very fast one once you're balanced and smooth with it. Very fast, quick attack there. And we rotate back around to stance, lead hand in perfect position to defend. So again, the hand movement on the reverse spinning elbow. We're stepping across, we're keeping our guard high on that lead hand. We're taking the rear hand, dropping into the chest, boom. Rotate on both feet, rotate back around to square, and you're back in. Catch your breath, drink some water. This is the second break. We've got round three coming up in 50 seconds. Shout out to Reed Brickman. Says, hey, I'm late, better late than never. And you can always catch these things on the replay at your own discretion. Also, today, my bonus round will be at a local Muay Thai gym. So stay tuned for that. We're gonna get some footage up, show you where you can go if you're in the local area to get some quality training. We got 35 seconds. And I just want to say, as much as we drill in this class, we're only spending 10 minutes together. So uh, it will take an extremely long time to learn how to be a proficient fighter if you're only doing 10 minutes a day. This is our daily goal. We want to make it an accomplishable one so that we can reward ourselves and continue taking those baby steps forward. But if you want to accelerate that progress and you want to get into this sport as a hobby, as a passion, or just bring your skills up much to a much larger level, do seek out you know, training. There's tremendous benefits to that paid training that you can get at a facility, especially with coaches who have a ton of experience and you can learn so much in a very short time. So do check out where you can continue to grow. All right, back into it. Square up with that dummy. Visualize that target. Tuck chin. We're in Muay Thai stance. Curled hips. Rolled shoulders. Guards high. We've got our Muay Thai, Muay Thai shuffle going. Shifting that weight forwards and backwards. Step for the one. Bob, rotate for the two. Rotate for the hook right there. And now we're going to step across. Hiding that footwork with the fact that we're making contact here. And we're going to twist through both feet. Come on, bringing that elbow around back to square square it up step in let's work that combo one two work at your own pace keep it balanced three step across boom drive that elbow rotate it back square up one two three across boom elbow and back one two three step across 
elbow, back. Keep that guard high. See that guard's nice, high and tight? We're keeping our defense in mind the whole time. Step for the one, guard's high. Rotate for the two, guard comes back. Rotate for the three, guard on the opposite hand. And now, this one's gonna come back to defend the head. Boom, as we step across and toss that rear spinning elbow back to stance. Get fluid with it, focus that balance. Make sure you're not leaning over in any direction. Keeping that head in the center of those two feet at all times. Step for the one, two, three. Boom, reverse elbow back to stance. One, two, three. Reverse elbow back to stance. And back. And back, put them together. And back, exhale on those strikes. Let's bring that first combo back. So instead of ending it with the spin, we're gonna end it with the cross. Let's do it together. Step for the one, the two, the hook, the cross. Keep the guard tight, chin tucked. One, two, hook, cross. Nice and tight. Fire from that center line. Two, three, four. Boom. One, two, three, four. Exhale through those strikes. Exhaling at the right moment. Puts additional power into those strikes by activating that core. Let's mix that combo up with a spinning elbow. Throw one more that ends in a cross. Boom, boom, boom. They're getting used to our combo. We're gonna end it with that surprise spinning elbow now. One, two, three. Step across. Surprise elbow back to stance. Hit him with the cross. One, two. Now switch it with the elbow. Boom, boom, boom. Bang, and back to stance. That is the end of round three. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you found room to grow, room to make progress. That is what it's all about. One of the best parts, one of the most amazing parts so far for me about martial arts is the fact that the more I learn, the more room I find to grow and to learn more and to enhance my techniques, to blend techniques and become more and more proficient at both self-defense and add more creativity to my training routine and just develop those tools, sharpen those skills and those weapons, which is continuing to take me forwards and forwards and forwards through life. The self-confidence, self-esteem, and self-validation that you build in training carries over into every aspect of life and there's an unlimited room for growth in here and out there. So please do keep going forwards. Find that room where you can grow. Give yourself that challenge. Don't take it too easy because you'll get bored. Don't push too hard because you'll need days off and recovery, passive recovery time. Find that flow zone where you can have fun, continue to grow, and sharpen those skills that work for you. <clears throat> Until next time, I'll catch you guys and girls same sack time, same sack channel, same sack life. Sack man out. <laughs>